Good afternoon, everybody. Um, again, I'm delighted to have Mark Hutchinson, CEO of uh, FFI, with us here today uh, via Zoom. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here in person due to some um, scheduled conflicts. But Mark, so great to have you here and really appreciate you taking the time to be a part of a Plug Symposium here. So maybe I can yeah. kick it off, Mark, right? So uh, look, we both have been um, focused on driving the growth of this green hydrogen ecosystem on a global basis. It'll be really good to hear from you, Mark, as to how you're thinking about it. You know, how do you see the industry unfolding and, uh, you know, what is Fortescue doing in terms of propelling this industry forward? Yeah, no, look, Sanjay, look, firstly, thanks very much for the invitation. Sorry, I can't be there. I'm in Perth, Australia, so it couldn't be further away, I don't think. Um, but uh, such a pleasure to be here today and uh, uh, very, very excited to to have the opportunity to talk. Um, look, I think, Sanjay, maybe, maybe kind of starting on, really from the mission perspective. Um, the way we see the world is we're in climate change now, um, that really the, the world needs to get off fossil fuels. And so as we kind of look at uh, what alternatives there are, the world needs an alternative. And, and we totally believe like yourselves, that green hydrogen is, is a great alternative to fossil fuels. So, so we need to provide the world with that alternative. So we firstly see the market as big as the fossil fuel market. So it's just enormous in our view, but we've got to get going. And so you have some unique companies like Plug and ourselves who uh, are, are prepared to step out somewhat into the unknown a bit um, to, to show the world that you can actually make the product economically at scale and globally. And that's really our been our mission is, is we're a mining company, but we're driven by um, uh, you know, a very driven uh, you know, founder um, who has really kind of bet his entire worth and, and you know, the, the company that he created on stepping into this, this market. So we firstly see it's a massive opportunity, um, but also it's, it's really up to the players like Plug and Fortescue to show the world that we can do this at scale and, and, uh, and on a global basis. Absolutely. That's great, Mark. Right. And as you pointed out, uh, we obviously share a similar vision and view, which is uh, green hydrogen, I think, is that solution that can only decarbonize one industry, right? It can really decarbonize so many different industries and really help us get to that much needed carbon goals, as well as really supporting this whole energy transition. So with that, let's talk about scale, right? Since we're talking about scale. So, uh, and I, by the way, first of all, thank you so much for the uh, opportunity to work with you all as our 10 megawatt electrolyzer skid supplier to your Gibson Island project, uh, which is, I think, going to be one of the largest projects announced here on a global basis at 550 megawatt. So, Mark, can you tell everybody a little bit more about that project and how we're sort of working together there? And, you know, when is the FID, when you actually see the construct, you know, groundbreaking, and when you actually see the project getting to COD and how you're looking at it from an offtake standpoint? Right. So look, um, look, firstly, I'd say that, you know, our, our philosophy has been, you know, ha we have a goal for 15 million tons of hydrogen by 2030, which seems enormous. Uh, but actually, we're starting to see a pathway there. But we believe it's so important for to show the world and also our investors who invest in the company what these projects look like. So we have uh, five projects going through FID at the moment. Um, they're all over the world. The United States, we have one. We have one in Norway, Brazil in Kenya and then one in Australia. And the intention is really to show um, the world, you know, the the difference in these projects. Um, they have different uh, uh, offtakes, they have different kind of structures, but also to to really learn the process as we go through and, and uh, yeah. as we develop these projects, because because behind them, we have a, you know, enormous ambitions uh, in particularly in the Middle East, Africa and Brazil. So Gibson Island is one of our first it's um it's in Queensland, Australia. Um, it's uh, a, an opportunity to export ammonia. We were actually teamed up with a local ammonia uh, player who has an existing ammonia plant, so that kind of helps us de-risk that part of it. We'll be selling the product into Singapore and Korea. Um, we've had great discussions with off-takers already, so we're not concerned about that. It's uh, it's a large project to get going, but our belief is that. Um, particularly with the help from the Australian government. This is a, a good sized project to, to make sure the economics work. And, uh, you know, we, we're working very hard with your team and plug to provide the electrolyzers. Um, we will reach FID, we believe, in the November time and the next board meeting. 
and we've um, taken the uh, the board on the journey really over the last 12 months as we uh, you know bring this to FID. So we'll get going pretty fast. We've got banks already lined up Fantastic. and uh, we hope to be you know financially closed sometime in 24 and production in in uh, 26. So I'm very excited about this. Um, being on home home turf also for Australia, we, if you think about what uh, Fortescue is, it, it, it's a mining company, but not really. It's a project company. We do very, very large, complex projects. So doing our first big one on home turf where we can use all the engineering skills we have and the, the project management skills is, is quite important to us. So, yeah, this is, um, look, a great one to get started on Sanjay, but lots more to follow. Absolutely. And on that, lots more to follow, Mark, right? And I know both of our collective team have been working on making sure that Plug is there to support substantial amount of the electrolyzer needs that Fortescue is going to have. And I know we've been talking about multi-gigawatt, sort of the reservation agreement and things like that. I think uh, maybe, Mark, for everybody's benefit, right, if you wouldn't mind maybe getting into some, I know you got a lot of projects, as you mentioned, right, in Brazil, Middle East, in the U.S., you know, it might be helpful for folks to understand how big some of these other projects are, right, where, you know, and the benefit I see in this collaboration is uh, obviously we have the world's first gigafactory with the electrolyzer. We can give you that security of supply, right? So that uh, you have a lot of activity going on and it's such a great collaboration. So maybe it would be beneficial for everybody to understand scale of some of this project on a global basis, especially those first five that you see getting to FID here in the near future. So look, I think uh, it's you know different variety. I think that we see the market developing in, in certainly different ways with the IRA in the United States. Hopefully, when that finally comes through, it's really um, you know uh, serving a domestic market more than anything else. And so you, yeah. you don't really have to change the hydrogen to anything yeah. else. You can liquefy it using your your equipment, or you can sell it as gas, and and that market's going to be huge eventually. But then you have the other markets around the world, which is really feeding into Europe and feeding into the Asian market, Singapore, Korea, Japan, where you have to turn it to ammonia. So the first few projects in Norway, Brazil, and Australia, they're around the 300, 350,000 tons of uh, ammonia, um, which is a pretty big size, you know, you know from a, a capital expenditure perspective. But the next round, what we're really looking at is, is learning from these projects um, working, you know, collaborating with with uh, players like Plug, and then we're looking at uh, really the next wave of what we think about as mega projects in Brazil, uh, the Middle East, places like Jordan, Egypt, um, Namibia, some place in Africa, and then Australia on the west coast, Australia, and there there we're looking at like a million tons per phase, and and what we're trying to do is look for where where around the world can we get uh, very cheap power abundantly that really isn't needed in the domestic market yep. and and kind of where we can really start to phase projects so some of these projects the first phase will be a million tons but then we hope to continue to kind of build these out um, as the demand grows i think on the demand side we're seeing that our discussions with buyers is very healthy globally yeah um ammonia is the great place to start it, it's it's feeding into a market which already exists and, and places like Europe legislation is 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 really helping us along the way. But eventually we want to almost, you know, jointly work on how do we kind of replace the LNG market and use the LNG infrastructure globally. Yeah. So I think that's kind of like the holy grail in, in our view, but let's start with what we know and what we can do. Yeah. So ammonia, um, it, you know, is a good place to start. Yeah. That's great. And and Mark, as you mentioned on the liquefier side, right, it is wonderful to be the uh, liquefier supply for your phase one of your Phoenix project. And obviously there's phase two as well, right, where, uh, you know, hopefully we'll continue to do a lot more work there. But now one other thing I don't think a lot of folks know about our collaboration or the cooperation in this area it might be worthwhile for both of us to talk about it a bit, which is we're also looking to be co-investor in some of our hydrogen plants here in North America, right? So, um, so Mark, I think... Uh, Plug is, uh, uh, you know, slightly in a different position, right, when we think about hydrogen, because we have that base demand from our application business, right? So when we think about FID, we kind of know where that hydrogen is going. So the underwriting criteria, clearing price becomes a bit more known for us. So Mark, as uh, we are collaborating and both of our teams are working on potentially being co-investor in some of these plans, might be helpful for folks to understand uh, 
as you are looking to also be co-investor in some of the projects we're building here in the U.S. and vice versa, what are the criteria, Mark, your team are looking at in terms of, all right, this is the these are the key things that we need before we step in and say, we're going to be a minority investor in one of the Plugs project and Plug becomes a minority investor in one of our projects. How, how, are, how are you guys thinking about that? Yeah, so look, I think our, our view, Sanjay, is that, um, you know, this is a massive market, as I said absolutely. earlier, you know, absolutely. The, it's as big as the fossil fuel market. 100%. And so really, at this early stage, it's all about baking the cake, not worrying about the slices of who does I, what. So that's uh, more, probably right? the way we think about it. Yeah. And so, you know, I think collaboration with Plug and there's, uh, you know, we have a project in Phoenix, you have some projects in Texas and other parts of America. And swapping equity a bit, so we all learn together, I think is really smart. Um, you know, you you know, I think that there's a lot we can learn of each other. Yeah. Um, the, the competition is fossil fuels, not each other. That's that's Absolutely. really important. Yeah. And uh, I think we're going to learn from each other. You know, we're not too worried about offtakes uh, for ammonia um, because of the, the projects are somewhat larger. That's important as we yeah. and we do have customers in Europe and Singapore, Korea yeah. for the ammonia. In the United States, we're less worried. I think the view is that let's make it and, um, you know, we'll find buyers and certainly Absolutely. discussions yeah. with the uh, market and certainly on the mobility side is very encouraging. Um, I think it's just a matter of getting going, you know, creating the market. Um, in fact, most of the customers we talk to aren't really interested in, in you know, bespoke projects. Yeah. They're more interested in saying, well, look, you know, we'd rather contract with you as a company um, and then where you get it from, we're kind of agnostic to, to some extent. So we've got to, we've got to create a market here. There is no really price. There is no market. There is no index. So all that has got to be done. So this, you know, this is a very exciting space for both of us as we kind of face in. No, and, and that's the beauty of it, Mark, right? We can really collaborate with each other and the goal, as you said, right? You know, this is not about Fortescue versus Plug. It's really more about Fortescue and Plug working together to make sure that we pre presented a solution that is going to be a displacement of the fossil fuel as we look forward, right? And that's really kind of what we're both looking at, if you would. So, uh, no, that that's great. So, uh, sorry, Mark, go ahead. No, no, I think that's totally right, Sanjay. Look, you know, um, we, we've uh, we've got a lot of work to do together. This, this is just the start of this industry. I kind of think of the, you know, when the solar industry happened and, and the wind turbine industry, yeah. it, it just matured so much over the, the next few years as, as the market scaled and then you got innovation. That's going to happen, particularly with the IRA in America yeah. uh, and, and other places following suit. I mean, you just think about the last 12 months, how governments around the world have really kind of changed their mind and, accelerated this industry so you know we our belief is we're very much at the start of of the the starting gate for this uh this industry we've got a long way to go but um there's there's plenty to do for everybody here uh, absolutely mark absolutely so uh again i think uh, one another thing that folks will hear at our symposium is uh lots of activity going on also in the stationary product side, right? We have a separate different panels where, uh, you know, as you pointed out, we're in this infancy in this industry because when you think about demand driver from even our stationary product for things like EV charging, right? 100 megawatt is 140 tons of incremental demand when installed mm -hmm. base in the US of liquid hydrogen is 300 tons per day, right? Let's just think about that for a second, you know? Yeah. And when you start thinking about decarbonizing long haul trucking, that's like 200,000 tons per day, you know? So uh, it is so exciting in terms of the growth trajectory that is ahead of us. And, uh, you know, and look, we couldn't be more excited to be collaborating with you all and really helping propel this industry forward and keep driving the cost down, keep making the economics better and, uh, you know, really keep helping support the this energy transition unfold in the right way. So with that, Mark, is there anything else you would like to share with the uh, audience here? And uh, so, so glad that you actually were able to join us at least via Zoom, even though you can be here in person. We very much appreciate that, my friend. Anything else you would like to share? With no, you? no, thanks. Look, look I, I, I would just you know, you know, finish up by saying just how important our mission is. You know, every day we, the, the world, uh, you know, releases missions into the atmosphere. It just gets worse. So there's, you know, uh, ur there's an urgency about what we have to do here at scale. We've got a long way to go. I don't think, uh, you know, we can do it all ourselves, obviously, but I, I view the work that Plug is doing and ourselves as almost the butterfly effect is, 
is you know if we can show the world that this is this works economically and the technology works at scale yep. uh, we want others to come in and and uh you know and join us so uh, i think the work that plug is doing and, and ourselves is is really important for the mission of uh, you know eliminating fossil fuels and i would just uh you know uh like to say thanks for listening to to myself for the the symposium so i'm not there and, and, and i really encourage everybody who's there today to um you know to come along on this mission with us it's it's critical thank you so much my friend very much appreciate it your time and really being with us here via zoom today thank you mark